T Harris here welcome back to my channel I have been gone for quite some time and I'm pretty much ready to get back in the swing of things and to be consistent again so this video basically is going to be something that I want to introduce and it is called talks with tea tea meaning me and tea meaning my hot cup of tea that I have here um, today I am drinking peach ginger tea which is one of my absolute favorite teas I love anything peach and peach and ginger tea together are perfect if you've never had it before you need to try it so basically I'm here to pretty much talk about where I've been what I've been up to this year because this year did not go as I thought that the way that it would go um there were quite some twists and turns this year that I feel like I wasn't expecting and um, I kind of just want to start with this where I've been um, just to kind of kick off my blog www.peaceafrolove.com um, just so I can start being more consistent on there and I thought that this was the perfect way to kind of kick start my fresh new start. So basically and I have not written a blog since February and that is not how I expected the year to go. One of my goals was to be more consistent with um, blogging, with doing videos, and things took a turn and I stopped. Like I had no drive to put any effort into a blog, any content. I kind of stepped away from all of my social media platforms even though I'm not really I'm never really on Facebook I'm never really on snapchat anymore I'm pretty much just on Instagram and I also wanted to you know take this year to kind of build on my Instagram but it just it wasn't there the creative juices were not flowing and you know I dropped the ball pretty hard and as I'm sitting here on December 1st I reflected back on this year and I'm like wow it has a flown by super fast and again it just didn't go the way that I thought that it would go so I'm gonna start I'm gonna take this back to January so starting in January was obviously uh, when I started blogging um, up again for the year and uh, my first blog was dedicated to how I saw the year going for me and it started off pretty positive and on a really high note although looking back again on it now in January maybe like six days after the first of the year my husband had to go on a 90 day work trip so how fun is that so that's three months of him being away and we are pretty close it's just me and him here in England and we're pretty much together all the time if we're not spending time um, you know obviously at work or there's times where he would go and spend time with his friends and I would go spend time spend times with my friends although this year I feel like it's not as often where I have time that I go out and spend time with friends uh, some of my friends have PCS um, they've gone to other places this year and that's been kind of hard um, but I do still have like a very good group of friends um, that are here however like my friends that were here before they either have like older children or they don't have children at all so it was a little bit easier for me to kind of like hey like you want to go out let's go hang out whereas though like all of my friends here now they all have kids and Jeff and I we don't have kids yet so it's kind of hard I feel like when you know planning things when you're the only one who doesn't have like children so basically in January, like I was saying, Jeff went away for 90 days 
And I think like back then I thought like, oh yeah, everything's gonna be perfect. But that was the start of the year already going kind of like downhill because he wasn't here. It was just me. I would go to work, I would come back home and I would be here by myself every day, including the weekends. And the weekends were the hardest because I wasn't going to work. So it was pretty rough him being gone for three months. And that wasn't his first time since we've been here in the UK. That was his third time being away for three months. Um, so it's been kind of rough. And so February rolls around, which is my birthday month. And again, he wasn't here for that. And I had to like think of something to do because I knew I was not gonna spend my birthday in the house because that is one of my favorite times of the year is my birthday as well as his birthday. So I knew that I had to do something and I initially wanted to like go on this crew uh, like a trip by myself and then I quickly thought like girl who do you think you are like I'm not about that life I am not about solo traveling life I would be terrified my anxiety would be up I would probably stay in the hotel the entire time not get out to see things so I knew that that was not going to happen for me so I was I, I tried to think and I'm like oh wait like I have I do have girlfriends here so I'm like let's plan something like for that Saturday just to like be out on the town and literally everybody that invited RSVP'd and said yes so we went to um a place that's like 20 minutes away from here we did like put put golf and we had a really nice dinner if you haven't checked that blog out check it out on www.peaceafrolove.com um it's about my 29th birthday and it'll go into more details about what we did but we did that and you know that was I was happy to have those friends here and around to make my birthday special especially since it you know this year is my last year in my 20s and again like that was like my theme of going into like this perfect year of it's my last year in my 20s like this year is gonna go by so great it'll be perfect just stick around girl so basically so february rolls around march rolls around he is due to come back i think the middle of march and his trip gets extended by i think a week or two and i'm like sir you need to get back like it's time it, you were supposed to come home already like get here so he finally made it home we went on vacation it, like the first week in April um he took me to a trip on a trip to Greece and then I thought that that was only the only place that we were supposed to go but he ended up surprising me and extending our trip to Rome so that was really nice and Greece also was a story uh, I do plan on doing a blog on that also but I mean, obviously I was grateful to be in Greece and in Rome and I've, we did have a little like mishaps while we were away, but it wasn't anything to be like upset about or anything like that or say it contributed to, you know, this year. So right after we got back from Greece and Rome, I basically, um, this is kind of where it takes a turn so the week after we get back um obviously my channel is very real very um i don't have any cut cards pretty much um i say what i want how i feel and um obviously in a nice and respectful way but um you know i'm okay with being open about my life basically in order to like help someone else if it's you know something that they're trying to overcome or help someone else in a just positive way or give some advice that somebody might not have but I just want you to know disclaimer here that you know this is you know a channel where I am very raw and very real so anyway so about the second week I believe in April 
Um, it was one day I came home from work and I had a really bad, like, it wasn't horrible, but I had a stomach pain and I just thought it was my ovulation time. And basically I thought I was ovulating. So my husband and I, we are trying to have a, a baby. We are trying to start our family. So we did the do and um, a little after that, I went to the restroom, TMI, and I had some bleeding. And I won't go into too much detail about this whole incident because I have already filmed like a separate video about um, what happened, um, just to go into more detail. But this is just to sum up like how the year has gone. So basically, I would just say, um, as a result of all of that, at the end of that situation, I was having a chemical pregnancy. So a chemical pregnancy, for uh, lack of a better term, is a early miscarriage. So basically, I was having an early miscarriage and it broke me um, this year. It broke me pretty hard and it has definitely um made the year take a turn for kind of like the worst if you would say um because those when it happened in April I kind of brushed it off like I really didn't I was upset in the moment but I didn't give myself enough time to heal if that makes any sense i didn't give myself enough time to really process what was happening and i i think because i didn't do that it made every month after that kind of go like a roller coaster it was like i had highs i had lows i had lows i had highs and it was just crazy so that happened in April. Um, I really didn't tell anyone like what happened. I didn't really talk to too many people about what happened. Um, and like I said, I really didn't give myself enough time in that moment to heal from what was going on. So in May, I ended up going home um, to see my family because um, my brother-in-law was graduating from high school. So Jeff and I went back home um, for a week or so and during my time there it was kind of like I was walking on eggshells because I felt like A, I hadn't seen my family, his family. I've seen his family because they came down to visit. Um, I had We had just recently seen them but like our, everyone else, like my parents, like my family and I didn't even get to still see everyone while I was home um, but I didn't see I hadn't been home for two and a half years. So during this time, like I was really walking on eggshells and it was because I didn't want people to like question me. I really wasn't drinking during this time. I'm not a bit, I'm not a heavy drinker, but I do socially drink and I didn't really want people to like speculate like, oh, is she pregnant or you know what's going on I didn't I didn't really want to talk about what was going on so um I did share with some of my friends like they because we had a cookout at my dad's house and um a lot of my friends came past and you know they were like oh what are you drinking and I'm like uh iced tea <laughs> um and you know I was okay with opening up with them because they're my really really close you know a group of my really really cl close friends and I didn't feel like I couldn't share but I quickly shared and I kind of like quickly moved on like I didn't really want to dwell in the subject I wanted to say what I wanted to say I didn't get emotional and I wanted it to just be done just so that we didn't keep getting you know those questions of oh when are you guys gonna have a baby like we're working on it so came home from that trip everything went well um and you know I had maybe like two more weeks left of work um, because I work at an elementary school. I only had two more weeks of work and then I would be home for the summer. And this is when things like really amplified because I was home 
during the summertime and I was no longer on a routine. I didn't have like a part-time job or anything like a, like a summer job. So I literally had time to do whatever I wanted. I could have left the house. I could have like did whatever I wanted, except I realized I spent a lot of time in bed. I did not get out of bed. Like I would be in bed some days all day until close to the time Jeff came home and then I would like get up move around cook dinner do stuff like that like but for the most part I was either in my bed or I was on my couch watching tv and in this time I started to gain like a lot of my weight back so backstory in 2017 like in October between October and January I went on like a four month pretty much get yourself together lose weight situation um so I ended up getting down to a really good weight that I was comfortable with and I was able to maintain that weight for the entire year up leading up to about like Greece slash Rome like that trip obviously I don't deprive myself when I go on vacations or holidays so you know I ate with the mindset of okay once I get back home I'll get back on track especially before I went home in May because it's America and I hadn't had American food in so long so the plan was to like get back on track go home in May eat a little bit come home get back on track but coming from Greece and Rome I never got back on track because of what I was dealing with so that also transpired to me eating like crazy while I was I didn't eat too bad but I still ate things that I wasn't used to eating and obviously I wasn't eating home cooked meals like every day I was eating out pretty much every day sometimes twice a day and I still didn't come back home and get back on track so I noticed like while wow, I'm starting to gain all my weight back because I'm not really active I'm not moving around um, and so that also like took a toll on me and I as I sat on the couch or in my laid in my bed I could have easily been down here like blogging I could have been making videos there's things that I could have been doing but I had no motivation no drive and I started to I hate this word but I started to really become a little bit depressed and I don't really think that I realized it but I was like I would cry so much every month that went past and I got I had I ended up getting my cycle was another bout of me being depressed it it was never like in my mind I tried to give myself that pep talk like oh you know if it's not this time this month you know you'll be okay like just keep trying harder you know try hard for next month but every time that month would come and that cycle would come all of that went out the window and I was back to feeling like what is wrong with me you know and so I'm in a much better place now and I will also do a blog on that and how I you know move forward in a positive way how I am continuing to move forward um it is still hard but it's not nearly as hard as it was back then so here I am today it is December and again I am in a better place obviously I went back to work in August end of August beginning of September um so I'm back in a routine which is nice we only have five more months here in the UK and I'm quite happy but I'm also sad because I really did enjoy our time being overseas and I know it's not our last time being overseas, but it's my last time. Well, I don't know if it's my last time ever being here, but during this tour, it is coming to a close. And I am quite sad, but I'm also really happy to be getting going back home to my friends and my family. And, you know, I think that'll also help with moving forward for the time that we are home. So I don't know, I just really wanted to do this video because it's December. Today is literally December 1st and I am ready to end this month despite whatever I went through the rest of this year. I am ready to end this month on 
such a high note so that I can begin January with like on a high note. And I really am working on being consistent. I'm really working on, um, you know, finding time to make time for things that I enjoy. When I come home from work, not being lazy and like sitting on the couch to pop on the TV, but going to my computer and blogging or picking up my camera and making a video. Um, those are the things I'm working on in just this short, like four weeks that we have in the rest of this year. Um, but I can do it. I already have some things planned after this video. I definitely will do a, um, what happened during my, my, my chemical pregnancy, which is like I said, already filmed. I then want to do a video after that explaining like how I'm moving on. And then I kind of want to just close that chapter. Obviously it'll never be fully closed, but as far as living, in that moment of sadness and being depressed and not my best self, I just wanna push that in the back. And my mom also came to visit me this year, I think it was in July or August. It was August. And I didn't, I wasn't my best self. Like I still feel like I was battling some things and I just didn't wanna talk about it um, because I don't typically like to talk, which is, about my feelings I should say I typically like to write my thoughts out which is something that I wasn't really doing but that's how I pretty much get my emotions across is by writing them out and you know she came and there were some days when I just like oh I'm so tired like I'm not really in the mood um you know I think I also was I didn't I don't think I realized that this had affected me but like while she was here it was doing during my ovulation period and I wasn't um with Jeff like it was just a trip so my mom came over for a few days she spent time with us at my at our house and then just me and her we went over to Paris and then we ended our trip in London um and then she went home from there and then during that time that we were away it was during my ovulation time and I think that I wasn't trying to like dwell on that but I think in the back of my mind I was kind of upset that I wasn't home to be able to you know it was a, another month gone basically that I knew that this isn't going to be the month that I'm going to get pregnant because obviously I'm not with Jeff at this time um and I, I don't think like I didn't mean to like project that on to her but I think I did a little bit on some days because you know I just was moody and I wasn't I wasn't my best self sorry mom um but moving forward I I I'm gonna speak this over my life I'm gonna be better and I know that God does have a plan for us and I'm not worried about it anymore okay so my camera cut off sorry but I was saying that I know God has a plan over my life and our lives and I'm claiming that for 2020, nothing has changed. I am still going to go in the year um, feeling positive and I'm going to receive that and I will keep you guys posted on how that works out. But guys, please be looking out for more content coming your way and if you haven't checked out any of my previous blogs or videos please take the time to do that as you wait but as always you guys peace and love and i will see you guys next time bye guys cheers